Anyway, we don't have to move very far for the next episode. It's just one box over because I've brought all my swarm cats and boxes into the one spot to do their inspections. And um, yeah, this one's going to be rather interesting, I think, because I've bridged a crossway because I didn't have any foundation in there. So as your dad would have told you, do as I tell you, don't do as I do. Remember to put your foundation in your swarm catching box before you catch a swarm. But anyway, here we go. We'll rescue the mess that we've created. Well, I've created. We'll just get this little nuke box out of the way. Oh, and we're going to have a smoke off in here. Hello, everybody. I really don't know how we're going to go about this. We've got to go, got to do something because it can't stay like it is. Anyway, here we go. Hello, cheeky babes. Are you all a bit excited? Oh, they're a bit more toey than yesterday. <laughs> Maybe they already rallied the troops and decided that they knew we were coming back. Perhaps I just didn't give them enough smoke. That might be more to the point. Well, they've definitely gone a bit cranky. Because they were really relaxed when we were here yesterday looking at them, weren't they? So basically, because there was no foundation, the ladies in their wisdom decided to build their comb across like this. Which is very, very unhelpful from my point of view, because you're going to wreck everything. But I thought, it's only about that long at this stage from what I can see here. I figure it's time for a rescue. Luckily, it's in a blooming individual bottom board. So this would be much more fun if it was in a solid box. But anyway, it's not. So it is what it is. And here we are. Let's have a look. Just prise it off. It shouldn't be too stuck because they haven't been in here very long. They only turned up a little while ago. This is just our first inspection. So they've only been in here, I don't know. Just long enough to feel like they're at home. God, they're <laughs> making a mess. Rightio, is there any bees on your side? That's going to get very interesting. <laughs> that is not going to work. We're going to have to cut through two or three frames at a time, I reckon, and shake them off. And then put the queen excluder and then <laughs> get all the get all the breed brewed out of here and then just I don't know what we do with this we probably just cut it out and put it in the cruncher up when it's honey instead of brood. Ah, oh, blooming heck. All oh, the best laid plans. <laughs> Bees just have a mind of their own, they do. <laughs> Good golly. So we're just gonna sit this over here out the way for a minute. Obviously, we can't leave them like this because this is ridiculous. Double check there's nobody important on the bottom here. Just gonna... If we can't get this bit of... <laughs> with all the old wax and crap they've dug through, which is what that usually happens when they're making a new nest. Just make sure there's nobody important in this lot. <laughs> the main purpose of the exercise is you don't want to lose your queen. That is a bad idea. Mind you, I thought they were angry for a start, but they seem to have calmed down now. Well, sort of calmed down. About as calmed down as you would be if a hurricane came and ripped your roof off. <laughs> I don't think you'd be very calm, would you? That's when you check your insurance policy. And they go, oh, sorry, sir. You're insured for floods, but not if the creek runs over. It's only if your bloody roof blows off. What sort of crazy shit's that? Your policy doesn't cover you for the for actual actual flood. That's not flood cover, that's right, that's storm damage. Storm damage is if your roof blows off and the rain comes in and wrecks everything. But if you're in a bit of low-lying country and your house goes underwater, that's not technically storm damage, it's flood damage. So, you know, I think, golly gosh, talk about read the fine print. I guess the real moral of the story, though, is don't build your house in the low country. I don't know, but it's... They're blooming heck. I reckon the insurance companies have got it all their own way a lot of times, haven't they? Not that I've ever been flooded, but still. <laughs> right, so our plan is we're going to take this super, which is where we want them to end up. Because this has actually got foundation in it. This is very helpful. <laughs> Before you judge me too harshly, this was not actually set up as a storm swarm catching box. It was actually just getting myself organised to get it organ get ready to get swarm catching. No need to write in and tell me. I already knew. Well, what the hell? Write and tell me anyway. I love reading all your emails and messages and all the excitement that goes on. It's all good fun. What's that? What's that going down there? One more to go in there. That one in there like that. A little bit more smoke on this lot. I can't actually see any brood up there, so... Oh, what's that? I think that's just all honey. 
So we'll try and chase these lasses out of there. Send them back in here. I'm going to put the in trouble box on top of here. And then we'll smoke that a bit and try to give it a few taps and chase a few of the bees downstairs before we get too much excitement. And then we might have to just pull it apart a bit to give it a bit more of a rattle. But, I don't know. You and I are going to find out together. We'll see if we can't get some people to go downstairs a bit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Not too much banging, but just a little bit. They don't like banging. It just can't go on, ladies. You just can't have it like this. Well, it's just not on. <coughs> oh, golly. <laughs> I don't think they're happy with us. I reckon she might have actually gone. They've changed their tune. It'd be just brilliant if they get the shits up and just abscond after all this excitement. We've got a fair few of them down here, I reckon. Ah! <laughs> I'm just wondering whether we've actually got her down there already. Or are they just chasing honey? <laughs> oh dear. Could just go simple, couldn't it? I guess if everything went simple, though, we wouldn't have a show, would we? <sighs> moments like these, you probably need to go to the fridge and get yourself another beer, because this could go on for a bit. Well, I'm thinking, I reckon she's might have already gone downstairs because I reckon when we tapped her, but I'm a bit worried that she'll probably just as likely run up. So I'm thinking we're going to sweep some of these girls off of here into there and just see what they decide to do. And hopefully we'll let them tell us what's going on. Maybe we should just tap it from the top that way. And then frames will fall out. That's a very good point. That'd be a stupid thing to do. Just where I bring you along, you see. <laughs> Golly, what a drama. Don't look like there's too many in there now. <laughs> that gave them a bit of a rattle, didn't it? I'm not totally convinced, but when I was shaking them there a minute ago, they, there was hardly any bees actually still up the top. So I reckon she's in the bottom. That's my tip. So I'm going to put the queen excluder on, put the lid, put that back on there. And then I guess we'll come back in a, oh hell, a week or two and we'll see whether she's laying downstairs. And if she's not laying, well then there'll be a bigger mess up the top because they'll be all up there still. I'm going to just pop that on there. Hopefully we'll keep her in the bottom. And then we'll hopefully let everybody just calm down just a little bit. Everybody's just a little bit excited. I think I'd be a little bit excited too. Golly gosh. So next decision, I'm just looking, they haven't got very many stores actually, well, well they have got some stores, they've stored it all in the Jolly Roof. <laughs> but this honeycomb has its own segment, so it hasn't actually bloomin' been ruptured, so it's not going to leak and carry on when we put it back together. So if you remember the last episode, I said don't put bloomin' honeycomb on top of the brood box and then all the honey runs everywhere. But this particular honeycomb isn't ruptured, so I think I'm going to put it back in there and I'm going to let them work themselves out because they've got some stores there and that will feel homely. Next time they'll have some more stores. Hopefully she'll be laying downstairs where she should be and it'll all be uniformed. We'll have to wreck all this anyway to take the honey and that away and clean that and put some fresh frames in here that are in the right order. So we'll do that then, I reckon, rather than taking that away from them. I'll just smoke these few off the top so we don't crush anybody because it's not a really big swarm, so we don't want to lose any workers. Oh. Hey. Yeah, I think we're in trouble. Um. I don't think the queen would be up there on that bit, but sometimes with a swarm, she can be in the roof. So, you know, because she's feeling a bit safe. So I think we're going to take this back off again and we're going to take the queen excluder off and we're going to shake all those bees underneath and then we'll put it back together.
Oh, you can see they work in a swarm catching boxes because I'm catching swarms before I've even got set up. This is one of those crazy nine frame boxes too. <laughs> right. Okie dokie dokie doke. Smoke these girls off of here again. We'll just have a double check that we haven't got any stragglers and the, Her Majesty didn't actually end up in the dirt, but hopefully that's not the case. She doesn't look, I reckon we got her in there because I mean, they, they've changed their hum. I think I've talked about that before when they change their hum when they know they've got a queen or no queen and make a different song. They sing a hell of a lot better than me, actually. I mean, which wouldn't be hard <laughs> with my terrible rhythm. Anyway, there you have, we have two episodes both with a problem and two different sort of outcomes because like I said with that box there I didn't want to put the honey back in because it was ruptured and it was would have blooming leaked honey everywhere this honeycomb was all nice and secure but they didn't have any other stores so I gave it back to them so when you're in your apiary just remember that every box is different it's a bit like all of us people we're all different the girls are all different so just make the best decision you can for each particular box so hopefully you'll have happy bees and pots full of honey talking about pots full of honey if you're lucky, you can click over to the website and maybe grab yourself some, because it's going off like you wouldn't believe. That's all really nearly the end of October, which is getting pretty crazy. So if you get organised and you want to give your blooming loved ones a gift from the Bush Bee Man, get on the website, but sort of during November, because then it can get to you in time for Christmas. You know, then we can all have a jingle bells together. <laughs>